Animals, form and function. Introduction In different groups of animals, from unicellular organisms, like amoeba, to human beings, there is a progressive increase in the complexity of body organization. A series of organs and organ systems have developed. These different organs and organ systems serve the various needs of the organism. For example, the digestive system performs the functions of nutrition, respiratory system helps in breathing and gaseous exchange, and circulatory system is for the internal transport of materials. The Human Skeletal System Feel the bones in your body starting from the head. Feel the bones in your face, neck, shoulders, arms, legs, chest, fingers, toes, etc. Try to guess the shape and size of each bone. Some are small, others are long, some are also curved. The bones in your body make up a framework called a skeleton. The skeleton of an adult is made up of 206 bones. A child has many more bones, but as he grows into an adult, many of them fuse together. Organs Our body is made up of a number of organs. An organ is made up of different kinds of cell and tissues. Your stomach is an organ. It is made up of different tissues like nerve tissue, blood tissue, fat tissue and muscle tissue. Your stomach, mouth, food pipe and small intestine are all organs. These are organs of digestion. An organ performs a specific function. Kinds of organs Stomach Stomach is an organ of digestion. It is made up of different tissue like epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, blood tissue and muscular tissue. Different parts of the stomach help in the job of digestion of food. One part causes contractions and expansions so that the food is thoroughly mixed. This is called peristalsis. Digestive juices are secreted by another part of the stomach. Different tissues take part in each of these activities. Heart and lungs Your heart is an organ. The heart pumps blood. It is made mostly of muscle tissue, with some blood tissue and fat tissue. These tissues work together to allow the heart to pump blood. Your lungs and windpipe are organs used for breathing. Other organs Kidneys are the organs of excretion. The ear is a sense organ. Largest organ in the body is your skin. It covers and protects your body. It helps you get rid of three waste materials, salts, water and heat. Organs may be external or internal. The organs described above, like the stomach, heart, kidneys, intestine, are internal organs. External organs, for example, include ear, eye, arms, legs, hands and feet. Organ systems Organ systems and their organs are listed out. Organism The organ systems collectively form an organism as shown. The whole organism is a product of all the systems working together in union with each other. Organ systems in human body There are 10 different organ systems present in our body. The different organ systems are as follows. Digestive system Respiratory system, circulatory system, nervous system, excretory system, reproductive system, skeletal system, muscular system, integumentary system, 
endocrine system digestive system part of the digestive system are mouth tongue teeth salivary glands esophagus food pipe stomach liver and gall bladder small intestine pancreas large intestine and anus function to convert complex food into simple soluble form so that it can be easily absorbed by the blood respiratory system parts of the respiratory system are nose trachea windpipe bronchi singular bronchus and lungs function to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide and produce energy circulatory system part of the circulatory system are heart blood vessels arteries capillaries veins blood plasma red and white blood cells platelets function to transport gases and materials throughout the body excretory system organs of excretion are kidneys and skin organs of urinary system are kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra function to remove waste products from the body joints and movement move your arms at the elbow in what direction is the movement possible in what directions is movement not possible now move your arms at the shoulder joint what difference do you find which joint allows more types of movement try the same with movement of the legs at the knee joint and the hip joint try other joints also such as the neck fingers and ankles hinge joint the elbow knee and finger joints allow movement in one place only that is up and down or backward and forward like the hinges of a door such joints are therefore called hinge joints ball and socket joint the shoulder and hip joints allow movement in all directions in such joints the end of one of the bones is round like a ball it fits into a hollow part or socket in the other bone the bone that ends in a ball for example the femur or the humerus can move in any direction such a joint is called a ball and socket joint pivot joint the neck joint also allows movement in all directions it allows you to move your head up and down left and right and also to rotate it in such joints one of the bones ends in a rounded or conical surface that fits into a dent in the other bone such a joint is called a pivot joint gliding joint the wrist or ankle joints have flattened ends of bones that can move or glide against each other these joints allow side to side as well as backward and forward movement the vertebrae also have similar joints that allow slight movement such joints are called gliding joints what makes the bones move bones cannot move by themselves it is your muscles attached to the bones that make them move at the joints muscles are like elastic bands they are attached to the bones by means of tough bands called tendons the muscles move the bones by their pull muscles cannot push therefore to move the bone in one direction at least two sets of muscles are required for example the up and down movements of your arm are controlled by two muscles biceps and triceps when you want to raise your arm the biceps in front contract that is they become shorter and fatter to pull up the arm 
To lower the arm, the triceps at the back contract and pull it down. Activity Run some distance and observe the movement in the legs that takes you forward. When you run, your legs alternatively bend and straighten at the knees and ankles. Your thigh and hamstring muscles bend and straighten your knee joint. Your calf and shin muscles bend and straighten your ankle joint. Skeletal system in animals. There are three types of skeletons found in animals. A rigid internal skeleton called endoskeleton consisting of bones as found in all vertebrate animals like humans, fish, birds, frog and snake. Fish lacking bones. In sharks, skeleton is made entirely of cartilage. In some animals, bones are not present. In such cases, following two types of skeletons are found. An external skeleton called exoskeleton as found in insects like cockroach and snails. In insects, a firm jointed exoskeleton which encloses the body is present. In snails, a hard shell forms the rigid exoskeleton. The role of this type of skeleton is protective. The shell does not help in locomotion. The earthworms show a third type of skeleton in which body shape is maintained by fluids inside the body. The fluid form an incompressible skeleton around which muscles act and bring about movement. Movement in birds Birds have a number of adaptations to fly. Their bones are hollow and therefore light. The wings are large. This gives a large area to push down the air and lift up the bird. The wings have a curved shape, more strongly curved on the upper surface than on the lower surface. Because of this shape and upward force known as lift acts on the wings when the bird moves making it easier to fly. The muscles attached to the wings are very powerful. There are two main movements of the feathers of a bird when it flies. On the downstroke, the wings move downwards and forwards. The feathers push the air down, giving the necessary lift to the bird. On the upstroke, the feathers twist open and the air passes between the feathers. Locomotion in animals In unicellular animals, Amoeba move about by putting forth its false feet called pseudophodia. The pseudophodia move their position every now and then and bring about locomotion. This type of locomotion is known as amoeboid. Paramecium has hundreds of small fine hairs called cilia. The cilia move together just like the oars of a boat. In Euglena, a single long hair called flagellum is found. Movement takes place by the whip-like action of the flagellum. Both cilia and flagella are locomotory organs and help in locomotion. Fishes have fins and tails on their body. These help in locomotion inside water. In frog, hind limbs with webbed feet help in locomotion. The birds use their strong breast muscles to push or pull their wing. The wings help in flying. In water birds, webbed feet are present which help them to swim. In snakes, crawling movement takes place. Their bodies are covered with scales which help them to crawl. Locomotion in snakes is like swimming on land. During locomotion, snakes make loops at the sides. The forward thrust of the loops against the ground surface helps in the forward movement of the snake. Locomotion in multicellular animals. The figure shows movement in a simple multicellular animal, Hydra. At its free end is the mouth. Mouth is surrounded by a number of tubular structures called tentacles. Hydra uses its tentacles for walking as shown in the figure. Movement is caused by contraction and relaxation of body cell while locomotion is called by somersault and looping. Earthworm 
earthworm has a long cylindrical body, sense organs are not present. Circular and longitudinal muscle fibers are present on the body wall. The movement of these muscles pushes the blood in the direction of body movement. This movement of blood helps to move the animals forward. On the undersurface of the body, a number of minute bristles are present. These bristles help the animal to get a good grip on the ground. When it moves, the front anterior end becomes long and thin, while its hind, posterior end, becomes short and thick. This is due to the contraction and expansion, relaxation of body muscles. Thus, locomotion in earthworm is brought about by contraction and relaxation of body muscles.